Okay, what we're going to do is uh, look at entering a list to find the uh, races. To enter a list, we go to the f of x function. Going back to the 1, 2, 3, I'm just going to put several numbers in here. 12, comma, 45, comma, 74, comma, 14, comma, 54, comma, 36, comma, 96, comma, and 100. All right, and I'm going to enter that. It names it L sub 1. All right, and now we're going to find the various data out on this list. So first I'm going to start typing in uh, mean, and mean of list of raw data comes up. I press that. I'm going to now put in capital L, and I'm going to the F of X, and towards the bottom near the left arrow key is the subscript key, and then I have to put in a 1. And press return. So the mean of that set of data, which is the average atom all up, divided by the number of numbers, 53.88. The median. So I start typing MED, and I got median list of raw data. And again, capital L, F of X, subscript 1, press return. And I now have the median of that data. Uh, we could also get the mode in the same fashion. It's not really a relevant uh, piece of information right now. We would start typing MOD. And then what we would need to do is look at some uh, data, uh, like the spread of the data. So I'm going to do the range. To do the range, I'm going to say uh, min, I'm sorry, max. So I start typing M-A-X, maximum of a list. And I'm going to put in L1. And then I'm going to get out of that parentheses by using my right arrow. And I'm going to subtract the minimum of that same list. And uh, again, L sub 1. And that's going to be the range because it is the largest value minus the smallest value. I'm now going to do the mean absolute deviation. Deviations are when you uh, take the values in the list and subtract the mean. All right. So I'm going to go L1. L sub 1 is what I really meant to say. And I'm going to subtract the mean. Oh, I've got to delete that. I need a right arrow to get up to the big cursor. And I'm going to subtract the mean. Well, the mean for that list is above, and it has the uh, label of A. So I'm now going to press return. It subtracted all those. I could do some of these steps in more than one step, but I just wanted to, each one of those values in the list are the uh, original values in the list minus the mean for that list. And decline that phone call, and let's go and now take the absolute value of that list. All right, so. A, B, S, absolute, and I'm going to put in uh, L2 now, because that's my new list. And press enter. So it changed all those values to positive. Now I'm going to find the mean of that. So I start typing in mean mean of a list of raw data, and this is going to be L3, L sub 3. And there's my absolute, I'm sorry, my mean absolute deviation. Okay, and so uh, I'm now going to do the standard deviation.